Michiko Menji. <coughs> I sure don't know, motherfucker. Look at my treats. I'm gonna bag the bitch, man. I'm a beggar. I can't find my motherfucking car keys, man. Man, I do not fucking know, motherfucker. Biggest mis the biggest mistake I made was when I moved in, I gave a spare key to Butch. Them hookers are fucking everywhere. Now listen, I rode my bike on the bus route, and I visited Peggy Green on Jimmy's birthday yesterday. I didn't do no drugs or nothing, no drinking or nothing. Now what I did before I left at 5 o'clock was I took my house key ring off my Chevy keychain, and I either put it in my drawer in Grandma's desk or I threw it on the floor and hid it under a piece of paper. Now, I went to Jimmy Green's and I got home at 8.30 or a quarter to 9. I called Butch and told him because he knew I was going because I was going to help him with the alternator. He says this. My daughter, Billy, stopped by my house and said she was knocking on your door because Billy took me to the vet center to get the cat food the other day. I don't know why the fuck she was at my house, but I'll be damn fucking sure that I ain't got no Chevy keys, so I'm calling you for your day on your way to Grandma's. I'll beg you one. if I, I'll tell you if I find them, but I need help locating these keys. All right, Mom. I don't know if these hookers took the key when Butch was asleep and made copies of my house key or what, but I wouldn't put it past them. All right. Hey, that's a good idea. You know what I've been doing is moving my, my porch chairs like a wall. I've been blocking off the lane. But anyways, listen. There was something I was going to tell you that was pertinent to the conversation. Damn. Like I said, I hope to God there, there's somewhere by the desk, man. But it wouldn't have took no business to take a key, walk in, and see them fucking keys sitting in that drawer. I'm telling you, it was that easy, man. Bye.
I do not know where my motherfucking keys are, niggas. I don't. It's Mike Foot. When you get this message, take your time. I hope I can make it clear. I filed a, a recipient's right act about these releases. This Jeff Holtman was supposed to use my release of information to be a middleman to go over to my parents so I can get my Jeep, my cash, and my property. But he didn't. And I reported it that he made me sign a blank release. And later on, when this September 3rd happened, he used them fucking releases to talk to my mom to get her statement on an imprisonment on September 3rd where they took me to Borges and beat the shit out of me, man. I took pictures of black and blue, high COVID, a man who's got documented proof on Facebook because I've checked in all day long at my house and took a picture and posted it on Facebook. I got alibis that I was home for 30 days straight. Now, I might have went to the gas station to get cigarettes and groceries, but I did not go nowhere. And this Jeff Holtman used my fucking releases to talk to my mom, and I didn't even have a phone from August 10th to September 1st. How the fuck can I be creating so much trouble at my house, Kathy? Now, listen, you got to talk to Debbie. I called her from the hospital ER on Tuesday after Labor Day. And she did, she was like, damn, this dude is crazy. I understand, I understand. But I got violated big time, and I should not be on this fucking shot that I was on for 10 years, and I finally got off and was well behaved at my house. They is a violating of rights, Kathy. Now, I hope I can end this message. It's Mike Foot. Am I supposed to push a button? Star pound? I sure don't know. Damn! Kathy, I got, I can't start over, man. I pressed start and erased the whole thing. Just give me a call. This is terrible. I can't believe that shit. And that motherfucker didn't go through. Fuck your phone. I did, nigga. I recorded this shit. I done.